Once upon a time, there lived a heroic bear called Banjo, a rather loud bird called Kazooie, and an unpleasant witch called Gruntilda. When Banjo's sister was kidnapped, the bear and bird rescued her from the depths of the witch's lair, overcoming many perils and speech impediments to send Gruntilda tumbling to her doom. But she was nothing if not persistent, and surprising nobody, the old hag soon rose from her grave for round two. Our brave heroes once again stood in her way, and this second showdown ended just as badly for Gruntilda, who really should have quit while she was ahead. Many years have passed, and peace reigns in Spiral Mountain. So what became of the bear, the bird, and the witch? And this is where I'm going to cut in. Hello everyone, my name is Defendus45, and welcome to Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. I know this game isn't particularly liked by a whole lot of people, but I'm going to go ahead and play through it anyway. Now, our favorite barren bird just happened to have put on a couple extra pounds. And... It, it, it's noticeable. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to be doing voice acting or anything like that on any of the texts. Just because of the fact that I'm really bad at doing impressions and different voices and all that. I know I sometimes break into a little bit of British and it's never intentional. It's kind of weird though. I have had people say I was British and it's like, eh, no, kind of wish I was, but no. But, I, I want to play this game, or, I'm doing a let's play of this game, let's phrase it that way. It's kind of a, make myself feel better. For those of you who didn't know, or didn't watch the series I had before this, I did this game on my old channel that went inactive, and I had to, or I'm, putting down in order to get this channel to raise up. But I'm doing this as a... I did a really, really crappy job. <laughs> and I'm sorry for the use of language there, if that offends you, but... I did a really, really poor job. And because of that, I feel like I need to come back and do it again, and I can do it better. And it's... This game does have its little bit of humor to it. it it's pretty funny. And I don't necessarily like... I just said like, like. I don't necessarily like the story. Oh, I actually need to play. Whoops. I don't like... I don't mind the story is what I'm trying to say. But for those of you who are already going to say, oh no, well this game sucks, it's not Banjo 3, and I'm sorry I skipped over the uh, part of the story there. It's, I don't think this is a bad game. I would have much preferred to have a Banjo 3. 
and I'm sorry for my overly squeaky chair. I, I know it's very noticeable. Whoa. I forgot that the controller rumbles for that part. Oh, I want to say this now because it's been bugging me that I didn't say it in Dr. Robotnik's main beam machine. I apologize if you're wearing headphones during that series. You're only going to hear the game audio out of one ear. And that's because the plug and play I was using only had one audio track. And I didn't have an audio fuser to make it... Or, I guess it would be splitter. Yeah, an audio splitter to put it into both ears. So, it's only gonna... Or, you are only going to hear the game audio in the right ear. And that's what you get for using a plug and play when I could have easily sat down, pulled up song Mega Collection, and played. But I just, I have to make things difficult for myself. Oh. Sorry. I'm kind of getting like, I'm so ready to go. Because I should have practiced, but I didn't. I'm going to go ahead and warn you now that I am going to be using a glitch. And that's only an attempt to show you guys how you can make the game easier on yourself and make 100% a lot more achievable. You can get all the challenges without doing the glitch and get 100%, but I just I find it a whole lot easier. I'm going to try not to go too overboard with it, though. But... I will be going for all Jiggies, and I will be going for all Trophy Thomas Trophies. I'm only concerned about one Trophy Thomas Trophy, if I can get it or not, because I've gotten it before, and that's why I'm playing on a different account than my main account. But that was, information wasn't entirely necessary, but we're almost done with this opening. Wow, okay, this may have to be a little bit longer video. I didn't remember the opening being this long. Welcome to Showdown Town, your game hub. And it is open world. And yes, we are finding Jiggies. I guess I already spoiled that. But I was kind of hitting on what I wanted to say about this topic before, but I'm just going to go ahead and like clearly define it in case I didn't before. I just said, like, dang it. Yes, I sidetracked myself very easily. I like this game. I would have preferred a Banjo 3 more. And I do not think it's the best game in the series or it comes close. But I do like this game. So, we're almost done with the opening. Almost done with it. It's a little bit of a long opening. And you got a cat. Ooh. That was a bad idea. It's almost done. <laughs> okay, so we're pretty much out of the opening. So in this game, you're going to walk around and you're going to find click <laughs> Mumbo crates in the hub world. And these are going to give you extra parts. Will you just talk to me, Mumbo? <laughs> Come on. There we go, finally. And these are going to give you extra parts to build your vehicles. Now, you can't use your own custom vehicles in Showdown Town. But you can use them in the mini or er, the six game worlds. 
These are your standard building supplies, enough to make a simple machine. It's just explained to you that these crates are all over the hub world and you may need different abilities that you don't have off the start in order to get them. And I'm sorry if you can hear my Xbox humming in the background. I'm c I hadn't used it in a little bit and I'm hoping it's just, just, just trying to kick out dust inside the fans and all that because I, like I said, I haven't used it in a while. But... It's really loud, and I'm getting scared that it might be towards the end of its life cycle. I'm going to quit the tutorial, because I'm going to show how to build vehicles later. If Probably going to show how to build vehicles anyways. It's pretty standard. It's just telling you how to place things, and that everything obeys physics, and so you can't have like a wheel or two wheels in the two corners and expect to stay stable and stuff like that. We're almost ready. Now, I always forget about this command that you can just flip your vehicle like that. It actually probably be useful. But I forget about it. I really do. Okay, so what we want to do first is we want to make the... Oh. We want to activate that. Really, that's useful, but we won't have a use for it yet. See, I was kind of interested with this game about trying to actually maybe speedrun it, but no one's really taken the time to try to find a... I I'm going, Log. I get it. I get it. Yes, I know I can skip it. I just... They try to make it really obvious where you're supposed to go. Now... Oh, I remember the tangent I was on now. Before I was so rudely interrupted. Well... I was interested in speedrunning this game, but no one's taken the time to sit down and try to find some actual, like, sequence breaking, if you could say that. Because right now, the fastest way to beat the game would be to collect 70 jiggies. And yes, you could sit down and uh, path it out in order to easily get, or get that very quickly. I just, I don't think I commit myself to that long of a run. I enjoy watching speedruns, but I think, like, s something after, like, three hours. Wow, I'm getting really bad with the likes. I'm gonna have to break that habit, because I don't like that habit at all. Wow, 14 minutes already, and we haven't even gotten the first Jiggy yet. That's not looking great. I'm not saying speed-wise, I'm just, like... There I go again. I'm just amazed at how long this opening was. I didn't remember it being this long. And that is why you can't go up that ramp. Your wheels can't actually grab or get traction on it. Now, to unlock game worlds, you have to take these game globes and put them on these planets. And that unlocks all game worlds. And this is showing you here you have to have a certain number of jiggies in order to unlock the next axe in the game world and all of that. I love the big jump here. 8 to 31 and then I believe this one's 50? No, 47. Big jump there. Yeah, I just explained all of this. Thank you. Now I can finally go. And we're... See, I never use it. I just get in the vehicle and use RB. Well, we're going to go ahead and go in to go get our first Jiggy. I know you can say we can go and explore Showdown Town and all that, but we're going to do plenty of that. Trust me. Right now, I believe it's important for us to go ahead and get our first Jiggy. It's also because when you get your first Jiggy, 
the tutorial ends and they let you go. And so that's the goal, to end the tutorial. Welcome to Nutty Acres. Your first game world. Starring Mumbo Jumbo as the farm owner. Klungo as the heavy-handed farmhand. Come on, Xbox. Bottles as the reclusive pilot. Humba Wumba as Mumbo's long-suffering wife. Mr. Fit as the other farmhand. I hate Mr. Fit so much. And introducing Trophy Thomas as the painfully competitive farm mechanic. I, I hate Mr. Fit. His challenges are incredibly annoying almost 100% of the time. Hey, talking, talking. Like, the story. I did like it again. Dang it. I know I. I really shouldn't be so criticizing of myself, but I'm trying not to be so bad at speaking. Because I know I actually am terrible at speaking. It's not just, like, public speaking, if you consider this public speaking. Because I'm not even looking at my audience. I just, I know you guys are out there. Anyways. This is our first challenge. Klungo sees... I didn't notice that package back there when I originally did this. Well, locked choice, so it doesn't matter anyways. So, here's your normal screen. Normally, you can either choose a vehicle, or if it's locked choice, your vehicle gets chosen for you. What you want to do is... Just immediately back up, pick up this engine, and wow, I'm playing great. And go immediately down here, cross this bridge, and then I'm pretty sure we can get up this hill. I hope we can get up this hill. Oh, don't fail the first challenge. Don't fail the first challenge. Woo! I'm stupid. I'm keeping that in so I can show you guys how incompetent I am. Wow, I really should have practiced. I'm sorry for blowing the mic again. That's, that's a habit that still has carried over. I'm amazed by that. I can be that incompetent. Oh, the incompetence continues. Wow, this is kind of pathetic. I know a lot of people would go ahead and just cut this out, but I do fail. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so let's try this a third time, because I'm a retard. Whoop. That was a no-no. Oh, well. Let's try to do this properly. There we go. So this is how to do the tutorial. If Banjo can actually walk correctly. Uh, he's just cooking sausage. Nothing's burning. Please don't let this be an omen for how this game... Or how this playthrough is going to go. Because that was pathetic actually like incredibly pathetic well I think on that note we're actually gonna end the video there and it's been a lot longer than I was hoping but I want to get all the opening and all the tutorial done and you can see how bad I am at games so in the next episode we will go back to showdown town or I'll actually meet you there Thank you for watching and seeing me fail the tutorial. See you next time.